All right then, this is Snoodly Snodgrass here, and apparently this evening we're reviewing this uh, rather luscious drawing as it's coming together from Artis Marty Moore. Uh, apparently in the first stage there, that was the uh, drawn with the ISKN slate, some uh, rather fancy uh, highfalutin digital type of thing where you're doing a real drawing but it's turning it into a video of sorts and then in this stage here the artist himself is he's choosing to use more traditional tools and he's come back to just working with the paper and designing it out and really fleshing out the drawing and she has some rather nice fleshy parts i must say uh, and now he's, he's, he's gone back to the watercolor stage and uh, he's using some rather fine brush techniques. He's starting with the darker areas, which uh, many artists uh, do prefer to, to rather line out the details first and create these more outline-y kind of areas. And, and he seems to be working the taller area and uh, bringing in some of these luscious reds. Of course, Miss Vampirella, uh, as we all know here, has a, a very unique and rather revealing costume, as it were, and uh, very distinctive jewelry. Uh, and uh, she's been around since the 60s and uh, a very uh, long-standing character that's quite popular with the uh, the the fandom, if you will, uh, but but back to the art here. Let's not get sidetracked on a on a, a whim of uh, art history. We're we're here about the technique, and we're seeing the the watercolor stage as it's the fleshy areas are drawn in, and of course our character does have these kind of black stockinged feet. So we'll probably see the artist start bringing in some darker colors here with the oh there they are there right there with the darks and that way the flesh color underneath uh, which he's dropped in first does continue to show through to the other area and give that transparent translucent kind of look and uh, here it seems to be he's adding some sort of crypt kind of look uh, on a little bit of splashy color there a little splishy splash uh, creating a little bit more of an artistic vibrancy, if you will, to separate the character from uh, the background, really make her more vibrant tones push forward towards the viewer. A real classic technique for the illustrators. And uh, now he's using the airbrush. We don't see the airbrush used quite as much anymore. It's been often replaced by those artists who prefer the undo button and the back button. So the 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 artist who chooses the airbrush, he's, he's committed to the art form. He's He knows there's no undo button. He's going in, he's bold in his color application and he's creating these smooth, creamy, colors with the airbrush and now he's he's gone back to the traditional brush now he's he's probably coming into the final stages where you're really bringing the highlights back to the surface so that it really tightens everything up and I, this is probably where you really see it come together the small details in the face and the eyes and in the hair areas like that would just need to be cleaned up if there's a little bit of overspray and then they uh, right into the final areas and splish splash suddenly it's probably 